This is an MBTA commuter rail train. A typical consist has a locomotive at the front, which provides power, five to six cars, and a cab car. Wait, what's a cab car? The MBTA defines a cab car as, quote, a control car in a non-powered train coach that can control operation from the end of the train opposite the locomotive. Brought to the United States in the 1960s, cab cars have revolutionized railroad operations ever since their arrival. You see, before the cab car, passenger railroading was much more complicated. At every end of the line station, trains had to find a way to turn around so the locomotives could face the opposite direction. After all, the train couldn't just go backwards. An example of an old-fashioned turnaround can be seen near Rockport Station on the MBTA's Gloucester branch. The Loop Pond Loop Track, built in the early 1900s, was the first and only loop built on the entire Boston and Maine system. This track was used up until 1962, when it was deemed useless by the introduction of the cab car. In 2023, cab cars are used on every single train and service on the MBTA system, except during certain circumstances. The MBTA operates four different kinds of cab cars. The first being bi-levels, or double-deckers. Two versions of bi-levels are operated by the MBTA, which run primarily on the south side. The older Kawasaki CTC-4 cars underwent rebuild recently and are numbered 1700 to 1724. They are currently in the process of being moved to the north side to make way for a new Hyundai Rotom cars. I'll talk more about that later. Next, the Hyundai Rotom CTC-5 cars are the newest on the MBTA system and are numbered 1800 to 1870, with the first 27 being from 2012, and the last 43, which are still being delivered today. These new cars will replace almost all single-level cars on the MBTA system. On the north side, the MBTA operates two different kinds of single-level cab cars. The older MBB CTC-3s are numbered from 1500 to 1533 and were built in 1987. Car number 1530 was the last cab car of this type left in service on the MBTA this past summer. These cars once operated exclusively on the south side, but are now only on the north side because of the new Rotoms. Finally are the Bombardier CTC-1B cars, which are numbered from 1600 to 1652 and were built in 1989. These cars run on the north side, and basically always have. A good number of these cars were converted into normal coaches after the MBTA ordered more bi-level cab cars in the 1990s. With the arrival of 43 new Hyundai Rotoms, the MBTA now plans to replace all single-level cars on the system, and the time left to see them is slim. So for the rest of this video, Let's see the best of what I like to call the North Side Cab Cars.